Enter the torture machine. It's like Drew Gulak flipped a switch, and he's always on on. A man who loves competition, but loathes his opponents. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 193 pounds, Drew Gulak. He's held the Cruiserweight Championship, a multi-time 24-7 champion. Gulak craves the 24-7 title because he's always ready to fight at any time. A true Broad Street bully. Methods have proven successful. Time to prove he can. I wonder if Andre can maybe offer Saxton a scholarship to Chase University after the match. from Andre Chase. I expect we'll see him unleash his unique lesson plan on his opponent here. Already handing out scholarships, Chase U has been looking to become a global academic institute. Andre Chase uses every moment in the ring to not only teach a lesson to his opponents, but to all of the other students yeah, under his tutelage. We'll see if Andre Chase is going to be walking out of his magna cum laude or if he ends up on double secret probation. And what can you say about Drew Gulak other than he's a man who has dedicated his entire life to mastering wrestling. He's a no frills competitor who is all about substance in the ring. Even I have to admit, Gulak's knowledge of grappling is staggering. But it's that incredible mind for wrestling that makes him a constant threat to any superstar that crosses his path. Challenges does an opponent face when they're in the ring with Andre Chase? Chase possesses a very calculating mind. He sees the way things will unfold in the match the same way a chess master does. That lets Chase unload with surprisingly fast offense. And he's able to reverse. Into the corner. This can't be good. Go away! Sky high monkey flip. 
wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. What a European uppercut. Punch right in the head. to the body, heavy hands. Every ounce of the body is a target. And the momentum's clearly against Gulak now. Yeah, it looked like Chase was 10 moves ahead of his opponent there. Drew Gulak, Joker flex. A no for, will it be? Can't steal in this. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. He could pin his opponent right here. to the wire. Who's going to give in first? Reversal from Gulak. Close line. Oh, man. Oh, kick right to the back. Ooh, man, what a hit. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Catches Gulak, climbs back inside. Push it all the way up. Buster. And Gulak is leaving no breathing room here. Gulak with a systematic attack. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. And this one might be headed oh. ringside. Two. Yep, yep. Three. No. Oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Oh, and he's back in, beating the cat. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Andre is unable to stop this string of offense. Yeah, well, Chase has got to turn the momentum around. Nice neck breaker. Underhook applied. Side of the Chase just delivered that move with honors. Catches the leg. Oh, elbow to the knee. Oh, hyper extended leg. We are seeing a next level performance from Drew Gulak has it since then. The Gulak apply. It's not embarrassing to tap out. He'll save your career. But his will to win is simply too strong. There will be no tap out. Rolls through, nice escape. Picking up speed, building momentum. Trying to change the tides of the match. No try, and the superstar has changed the tides of the match. And more attacks to his core could hinder his offense. He takes control. Trying to 
find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. Looking to wrap this one up. Drew Gulak to Gulak. Drew Gulak with a Gulak to submission locked in. Will this match end on a submission, on a tap out? In this much pain, even in an That's tap it. Out. That's it. And Drew Gulak is your winner. A lot of good action in that one. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Drew Gulak. He really got the better of the opposition here. I agree, it was quite the display tonight. All handed to Drew Gulak, his research and studies got him a win here tonight. One of the all-time greats in NXT, now bringing his black heart to WWE. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Well, Tommaso Ciampa has proven he'll do anything to succeed in WWE, including being friends with The Miz. Hey, The Miz just recognizes a fellow A-list superstar. They're on their feet for Johnny Wrestling. And his opponent from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Johnny Wrestling, perhaps the most beloved competitor in NXT history. Yeah, but Johnny Gargano has also made an immediate impact in the WWE and has an even brighter future than ever. Scratch and claw through the independence through NXT. Now the spotlight is on Johnny Wrestling. And he will not give up that spotlight to anyone. When it's no disqualification, that means a competitor can be attacked at will, and it's all legal. This is when you see just how sadistic a competitor can truly be, and that makes for a frightening scene. It's anything goes. You have to do whatever it takes to survive this situation. There's no limit to what someone will do if they are unleashed without restriction. There is nothing but malintent behind each of these attacks. This is getting scary now. No one can survive this much. Whoa, not quite yet. 
And it seems like you have to be at least a little sadistic to be victorious in an ODQ match. Oh, come on, Cole. It's not about being sadistic. It's about being smart. There's no safety net in a no disqualification match, and that's a big factor in succeeding. There's nothing sadistic about it. Air Raid Siren. I don't know how you survived that. Starting off right by our announce table. Sound the alarm. Air Raid Crash. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, a rear super kick. From behind. Nasty. Neck breaker. He's absorbed some damage already. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. A kendo stick wrapped around the head. Don't come over here. Cole, quick, you Saxton as a human shield. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Look at this. Snap suplex. For the win. Two. Got the shoulder up in the last possible moment. So close. So close. Gets inside the ring. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. No, no, no. Suicide dive. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. Congratulations to the crowd and get back into the fight. <laughs> Sound the alarm. Air raid crash. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Screens 
exposed metal, ledges. So much could go wrong very quickly. Oh, face stop. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. This arena can't contain them, and if history's any indication, nothing good's about to happen up there either. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. A running Hurricane Rana. And I think we all know nothing good comes of fighting on the stage. Case in point, nothing good happening right now. Champa sitting back, studying his opponent, waiting. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Facing off at the top of the ramp. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to hurt. Dodges out of the way. The twisted mind of Tommaso Ciampa getting into a place many of us dare not know. Caught by the back of the elbow. From behind, back suplex. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Endless knee strikes. Oh, what a counter. With all the way disorienting, taking those hits above the shoulders. Oh, face first off the post. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. If you're looking to cause quick... Sharp damage. You can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Boom! Boom! Ooh! Oh, just one right after the other can't be stopped. The suspense this crowd is feeling is palpable. They are waiting with bated breath for what's to come next. Heading back with their own time. Nice crowd quick. Great elevation. and personal than I'd like to be. And Gargano gets beat to the punch and responds with a counter of their own. More attacks to the neck area. Not a pretty sight to witness. Oh! Oh, they look in his eyes. This isn't going to be good. He's got nasty plans in mind. Uh-oh. from Johnny. He's unsure of what else he needs to do to end things. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. He'll head to the ring. What a match. What a match. A counter answered by another counter. He's one step ahead there. Fantastic. Gargano is wasting no motion. Gargano focusing on making sure the Blackheart needs a defibrillator once this match is over. Up on the turn. 
turnbuckle now. Lifts on the ropes with a shoulder breaker. From the top, double stop. Counter, and now there's an opening. Instinct and able to survive. I can see it on his face. Champa is ready to reload and get back on the attack after that kick out. These superstars have torn away endlessly, and this crowd is on their feet in full appreciation. An incredible sight to see. The black heart with a counter. Big punch finds its mark. Look out! Side set on the top rope. He's got the target acquired. Just a matter of moments. Take off. Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off. That is what happens when you throw your body around. You eventually meet the pavement. Johnny Argano sweeps the leg, rolls through. Tap out. Do it now. Live the fight another day. Time to hit the panic button. Hey, tap out. Really no shame in losing that way. And it's all over. Johnny Gargano gets it done. And here's another peek of the moves he saw in that match. Here is your winner, Johnny Gargano. This one was so personal from the bell. The animosity just continued to grow throughout the match. The venom that coursed through the veins of Johnny Gargano tonight proved to be a driving force over his longtime rival. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. A man looking to take the Mysterio name in a new direction. Tons of rookie talent, but now has that edge that can bring him even further. Think about where Dominic made his debut at SummerSlam. You could not now ask for talking. a higher pressure situation, yet Dominic Mysterio thrived. 
and showed how much he has truly learned from the guidance of his father, Rey Mysterio. Dominic certainly wise beyond his years. He can do things in the ring that sometimes takes others years to learn. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. You know, it's just shocking the things that Ricochet can do in the ring. Well, I'll be the first to admit, Ricochet is a downright spectacular talent. Yeah, stuns his opponents with his speed and nimbleness. Highlight-worthy moments always follow his entrance. Introducing the challenger from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the NXT Cruiserweight Champion, A lot of competition in NXT's cruiserweight division, and they all want that title. The skies will be filled with high flyers and mere moments in this NXT Cruiserweight title match. Featuring the top WWE superstars under 205 pounds. Boom! Impact! Superhuman confidence from Ricochet as he reaches towards perfection. Hurricanrana! with a reversal. And just like that, he said crashing to the floor. He has him right where he wants him. the outside. Whoa. This could get wild. Toss back into the ring. Two. Ah. Boom. Oh, Dominic gets cut off. Ouch. Check out the springboard. Close line. That was amazing. With a championship on the line. And the champ can't keep the challenger down long. How'd he do that? Right. 
All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissor. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Kick to the knee. Nicely done. Locked up and painful. The challenger eating up some damage. Assaulting the knee with purpose. The WWE Universe feeding Ricochet's confidence now. Oh, look at this. Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow. So far, so good. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Ricochet is a moving target. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Control unloads with the boot. Oh, Northern Lights. Watch this court. Brain Buster. He moves just in time. Now, aspiring offense from Ricochet. Ricochet looking fundamentally sound, showing the wide breadth of his arsenal. Tossed into the corner. Big small on their back. Takes a shot in the back. Gets him in position. This is not going to end. Oh, look at this. Unceremonious removal from the top rope. Put into the cover with the title of the line. New champion. New champion. Oh, the champ nearly kicks out. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Uh-oh. Swing shot sent on to the outside. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. Back and forth from these competitors. The champ teetering on the edge. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We've much over down. Championship on the line. Champ barely gets a shoulder up at two. As close. 
close to three as you could possibly get without the bell ringing. Uh-oh. And a carefully measured knee drop. And that's going to impair Dominic even more. An awe-inspiring display of heart from Ricochet. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Fires back with a knee across the midsection. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. We continue to see incredible perseverance from these competitors. The war continues to rage on with no superstar willing to give an inch. Going up top. Skin of his teeth. And Dominic is failing to offer any resistance here. Dominic needs to reassert himself. Ricochet from the top. Oh, huge miss there. Four to the jump. Dominic ascends to the top. Let's look back at that amazing action. Here is your winner. And new NXT Cruiserweight Champion, Dominic Mass. turn of events. One reign ends and another begins. Safe to say things did not go to plan here tonight. Yeah, no one ever plans on losing their title. boy guys she is the most beautiful woman in all of wwe and her beauty is only matched by her success in the ring self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Self-proclaimed, Cole, would you listen to yourself? I'm sitting right here. I am making the proclamation. We are all witnessing the most beautiful woman in all of WWE. Corey, you're a bit biased. So? At least he admits it. Tremendous athlete, great competitor. Dana Brooke always ready to get it on, whether it's 24-7 title or not. Listen, Dana's sick of not being respected, so she's not out here to play any games. 
Well, Dana's got the attitude. She's got the strength. She just needs to put it all together. Dana Brooke has unwavering fighting spirit. This never backs down, and I think this, this could be her year. Well, that's a bold statement, Saxton, but one thing's for sure, you can't take DB lightly. She is a serious threat. She always brings her best effort and creates her own opportunities. J.C. Jane, Gigi Dolan, Toxic Attraction is here, and they look amazing. In short order, these two young women have established themselves as the dominant force in NXT. Yeah, multiple tag team reigns, multiple main events. Dolan and Jane both have bright futures in WWE, even if they have a bit of an attitude problem. JC Jane, Gigi Dolan. Two women at the top of their game. Two great competitors on their own, but together they are dominating the women's tag team division. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, Carmella and Dana Brooke. And their opponents, they are the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. Attraction! Some tough tag teams in the NXT Women's Division all clamoring for this title. Two of these women as the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships will be up for grabs in this team competition. On one side, we see Carmella and Dana Brooke. Then across from them, we see Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. The champs are not going down without them. The champs' shoulders are down. And a kick out right away. How? How? Opponent. Look at them go over and over and over again. And a slap, too. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Just a continuous rush on Gigi here. Gigi is running to a roadblock. Oh, my gosh. The champ getting put to the test here. And Dana Brooke is all fired up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. A running hurt, Colorado. There are plenty of ways battling this area could end in serious harm. Oh, agile move. from ringside. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Tag. 
Here she comes. Oh. An impressive chain of moves from Gigi. Gigi loved that this kind of control. Vicious fall right to the skull. Tag soon here. A uh, head scissors. Round and round we go. Head scissor. <laughs> Carmelo planted one there. Quick thinking from JC. sort of defense. Another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Gigi Dolan and Jay-Z Jane, 
two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. That was a great example of what a tag team can do when it's firing on all cylinders. Uh, I think Happy Corbin is the luckiest man in WWE. Why? I would agree with that assessment. Let's talk about this, Cole. From riches to rags, back to riches. How can you not be inspired by Happy Corbin? He doesn't have to rub it in our face. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City. Weighing in at 275 pounds. Happy Corbin! so tired of Happy Corbin running his mouth. He's got to be the most obnoxious person in sports entertainment. No, it sounds to me like you're just sick with envy. Corbin is a positive force, a true example of what it means to be a winner, not only in WWE, but in life. Despite his despicable behavior, you can't deny his ability. There you go, Saxton. Try being objective for once. Corbin's a boxing champion. He won the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Mr. Money in the Bank, King of the Ring. Shall I go on? A Hall of Famer and our former broadcast colleague, guys. A wrestling god. And his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 290 pounds, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. One of the longest reigning champions of the ruthless aggression era. A man whose personal wealth is matched only by his wealth of wrestling knowledge. Hey. One of the best brawlers in WWE history. Hey, Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight? And we are here with the WWE Hall of Famer, JBL, set for action tonight. Nothing pretty about what JBL does, but it sure is effective. If you're a fan of the old school, you are in for a treat tonight. The name of the game is aggression and momentum. We'll see if that's enough for JBL to get the win here. And then you have a straight-up bully in the form of Happy Corbin, who is more than ready to prove just how dangerous he can be once the bell rings. Look at his face. He absolutely loves getting his aggression out, being as ruthless as humanly possible. Hey, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life, Saxton. Happy Corbin gets that. Condolences to those who have to learn at his hand. Producing consecutive attacks. This is frightening strength here. Scoop slam. JBL isn't being given any room to recover. Right now, Corbin is doing whatever he wants. A right to the midsection. Setting them up for the Falcon Arrow. 
He's getting a little batter now. And he stonewalls Corbin. JBL managing to find some much needed breathing room. Could be just what JBL needed to battle back in this one. He returns to the ring. Of counter. Close eye. There he goes, right into the corner. And a close eye. Tough question, Cole. Corbin has seen both extremes, and I'll bet he'll do anything he can to not fall from grace. But the flip side is that he might get so desperate that he will make mistakes. And there's Corbin. He's sent flying. Whoa! Heads out of the ring. What's next? Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. A lot of momentum now on JBL's side. Corbin is fighting like a cornered animal and has made some mistakes, and now we're seeing his opposition capitalize on it. Oh, now what could this be? Oh, don't do this. Hung up with the barricade. And a big boot. Back in the ring now. Look at the power of the wrestling god, JBL. Jackknife, shoulders down. No, he gets the shoulder up. I mean, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time.
eyes of these superstars in action. Here is your winner, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL. This is the type of victory where you really have to weigh the cost against the benefits. With a win like that, you have to stand back for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT North American Championship. Gentlemen, it's time to keep your eyes on the skies. Served in the United States Air Force. Wesley is definitely right at home when taking to the skies. Wesley has acquired his target here tonight. Guys, this is going to be fun to watch. X marks the spot for Wesley. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. The champ certainly has his hands full here tonight, but he looks more than ready. Introducing the challenger from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley! And his opponent from Recluse, Wyoming, weighing in at 230 pounds, he is the NXT North American Champion, Dexter Always a big fight feel with the NXT North American title is being defended.
The NXT North American Championship has likely become one of the most revered titles in our referee in position. Oh! Seated drop kick. by Loomis.
championship reign of West Lee. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. Here's your winner and new NXT North American Champion, Wes Lee. You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen. Two guys who love to show off for the crowd. You're right, Saxton, but Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes also show up. Hey, you can't deny they like to showboat. They can afford to. They're just that good. Uh, no one is actually as good as these two think they are. I think these guys goof around just a little too much. It does seem like they don't take the competition seriously. Oh, listen to you two. These guys are just staying loose. Sometimes they like to take playful jabs at people, like me. Well, yeah, well, a little more respect and sportsmanship would go a long way. Spoiler alert, I think this is going to be a lot of fun to watch. Hayes and Williams certainly seem to think so. most beautiful import sent to us in a pair. Yes, boy! Dominated the NXT UK and NXT Tag Divisions as soon as they arrived. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. 
Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 415 pounds, Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. And their opponents at a combined weight of 357 pounds, they are the NXT Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kim Wilson. Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. A showdown for the NXT Tag Team Championships here in this tag team match. And we are starting things off with Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. And standing in their way of victory, we see Elton Prince and Kid Wilson. And here's where you got to have the utmost faith in your partner, especially with the gold on the line. Corey, I don't think you would do well in one of these. Uh, I've been a tag team champion, Saxton. Do your freaking research. Right the wrong into a neck breaker. in the corner now. Got them right in the corner. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. These two training counters and an absolute master class. Distressing spot. Every form of offense Wilson attempts is being neutralized. Clean tag for his partner. Ooh, close line deliver. I think we know what's coming next. shots whipped hard what a close line and Williams is keeping the match at his pace yeah Trick is really grinding the opposition down he made it tag made shot down low what a close line You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him.
He is delivering elbow after elbow. Things now not going well for Elton, but a more done on Elton is paying off. Prince saw that was coming. Sequence of reversals there. another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Here are your winners, and new NXT Tag Team Champions, Carmelo Hayes and Trent Williams. And these two really do make the perfect pair. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Championship! Here comes Eve Torres. Don't get it twisted, Eve is more than looks. She holds a black belt in jiu-jitsu after training with the most notable family in all of mixed martial arts. A tremendous competitor, diva search winner, multi-time women's champion. Yeah, Torres is a woman to watch out for, but we also know she won't hesitate to manipulate the rule book. Look, Eve knows when to work hard and when to work smart. Joy, it's Daddy's little princess. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Stratton is high class all the way, from her looks to her in-ring skills. Uh, more like overprivileged, spoiled brat. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Clearly a polarizing superstar. Well, Tiffany Stratton sure hasn't made many friends in WWE. Who needs friends when you've got a bank account like she does? Yeah, Saxton. Introducing the challenger from Denver, Colorado, E. Torres. And her opponent from Prior Lake, Minnesota, she is the NXT Women's Champion. 
champion, Tiffany Stratton. A title coveted by legends and hungry young talent alike. Daddy's little princess, Tiffany Stratton, looking to prove that she has it all. Braun, beauty, brains. Yeah, Cole, I'd say she's got it all. And those are things her daddy didn't even need to buy her. We'll have to see if Stratton can cash those checks her mouth already wrote. Yeah, then there's Eve Torres, who's almost as crafty in the ring as she is outside of it. Eve's not someone to take lightly because she seemingly always is just one step ahead of the competition, for better or worse. There is no worse, Saxton, just strategy, which Eve has in spades. Pay attention. Oh! Oh, that knee will take the win right out of you. So ruthless. Tiffany is being taken full advantage of now. Eve is certainly getting that fierce look in her eyes. And a slap for the exclamation point. The champion's down, the champion's down. Oh my God, we got a new champion. Very close, the T clearly set again. If there's one thing that makes Eve Torres stand out from the rest of the women's division, it's gotta be her jiu-jitsu experience. She should be able to use that to her advantage here in this one. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. The champ trying to roll with these hits. into the corner. Quick thinking pays off. She could be turning her fortunes around. Sleeper slam! Tiffany Stratton showing off for the audience. Uh, Tiffany manages to counter. Power slam! Is it enough? She is still very much in this. is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Nice rolling fireman. The champion into the cover. She kicks out in one. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. And she's stunned in the corner. Showcasing her arsenal. But Torres. Uh oh, second row. Oh, that might be the best moves on ever. I agree. And a kick out. What on earth? How the hell do you kick out of that? I have no words. Not even a two count. Sometimes when you unleash your best defense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. She flips it back. Superstar making an incredible comeback. Zapping deep into the inner pin attempt for the championship. Kick out. What a match. Jitsu expertise is clearly serving her well. Not really an answer to that, now is there?
Brought back into the ring from the floor now. One kick, two kicks, and a clothesline. Off the rope, uh-oh, with the reversal. That's the trigger for her to battle her way back into this. Oh. And a kick. Here comes a rolling fireman's carry. Kicked out. Placed into the corner. Eve with the counter. Drops it. What a battle we are witnessing. We're at a stage where someone's going to have to shift it into another gear. She certainly took a chance there. High risk with no reward. The champ getting worked over here. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Oh, that backfired out. One kick. Two kick. Four kicks in a debilitating clothesline deliver. She's going to try it again. Big mistake there, Corey. But she knows that now. A ripping and tearing at the face. If you can get past the good looks, pay attention to the athleticism. What a move by Stratton. Now that is why they're the champ. Let's take another look at these women in action. Here is your winner, and the new NXT Women's Champion, Eve Torres. A victory worthy of a new champion. I thought the defending champion had this well in hand, but the new champ had other plans. It just goes to show you anything can happen in WWE. This is going to be physical. Already a multiple time NXT champion looking to dominate all of NXT. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds. Bronze Breaker! The toughness of his father, the brash nature of his uncle. Braun definitely got all the good genes. An absolute stud of an athlete. A champion high school wrestler, a college football champion, even spent time playing pro football. But doing his best work inside the squared circle. And he's only getting better.
170 pounds, Goldberg! Multiple WCW titles, multiple WWE titles, multiple Universal titles. And to this very day, a man whose name is always in the championship conversation, the Hall of Famer, has arrived. opponents is like a who's who of the last three decades. Getting destroyed by him is practically a rite of passage. For many years, the only question for Goldberg was who's next tonight. The only question may be how long. All of which is to say this one could be quick. And then you have someone like Braun Breaker, someone who was born into this business and has to prove every time he steps into the ring why he belongs in it. He belongs in it, Saxton, because he has an aptitude for flattening his opponent. Look at it! This could be it. He wasted no time kicking out there. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Corey, does Goldberg even need a strategy in this match? His brute force and tacks seem to do the trick on their own. Well, it may not look like it, but Goldberg's always preparing. If he senses that he can't end a match immediately, he's going to weaken the opponent's core so they're more easily susceptible to the spear and the jackhammer at any moment. better part of Valor. He's taken some good hits. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. He turns it around. And that stops whatever Goldberg had intended. Superstars on fire. Pace begins to quicken. Oh, beautiful. Slams them. Braun turning his attention to the crowd. Putting on a little show for them. Yeah. Raped across the top rope. Breaker telling the audience to holler if they hear it. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Saving us from having to sit through that. He may get the three count right here. This is it. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Set right into the corner. And he tossed around. And it's Breaker himself being the one flattened there. Goldberg trying to make quick work of things. Laying in with that brute force he's so well known for. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Uh-oh. Full mouth, hammer fists, striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. Constant pressure being kept on Braun. And this is Goldberg in absolute control, just physically dominating his adversary. I think a spear and a jackhammer are imminent. Well scattered reversal there. Braun's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. Yeah, he's able to stop the bleeding, but will he also gain command? He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Goldberg getting knocked around a bit there. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Oh, strong impact! Oh, boy, to the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah, gonna clean it off here. 
this is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Battling ringside and our announce table is getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. This could be the beginning of the end. Goldberg! from Breaker. And Goldberg's angry. Goldberg is getting that look in his eyes saying, you want more than bring it. Over and over again, getting beaten down with force. Boom! What a forearm! Ron Breaker, his strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. Goldberg's got a rebound. Got a fight. Two count. He kicked out of two. Somehow Goldberg is able to grit his teeth and battle out of that cover. And Breaker has to be wondering just what it's going to take to end this. How far does he have to go? Close line. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Goldberg needs to tap into his trademark intensity and mount a comeback as soon as possible. Goldberg fights that off. Back elbow. Will it be? I think so. Breaks the close count. I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? to three. Oh, a shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to bring down your opponent. to the outside. And he's taking this to the outside now. He had it scouted. Resuming his destruction. Yeah, Goldberg looks like he has no intention of slowing down. Oh, that'll keep Goldberg at bay. Backs him off with a headbutt out of nowhere. Slip power slam. These competitors have been going deep into their arsenal all match, but have not found a way to end it at all. Swings in momentum, every push has been cut off. Taking flight. A uh, medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. He's got him scouted. Denied and reversed into a DDT.
Alex Barr got in mind here. Steinbuster through the announce table. We're officially in a state of chaos now. Monitors are everywhere. Pieces of the announce table are in the first row. Yeah, I'd say chaos is the right word. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. And gets tossed back into the mat. Dominating shoulder tackle. It's been a hardship for these superstars to get to this point. I think these fans are driving them to claw that extra inch. You can sense it from these fans are good on it, and I'm right there with them. That's Breaker doing what he does best in steamrolling over the competition. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. Boom! Military press power slam. Does that pull it out for Breaker? You have to ask, does Goldberg still have enough to wipe out the cobwebs and find the upper hand? And Breaker having to reckon with the fact that his best seemingly wasn't good enough. Taking this to the floor. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Oh, and the possibility for serious injury just went away. These superstars are starting to get very imaginative right now. You have to think someone's looking at that stage and getting some dark thoughts. And his car has been taking a beating. And you have to wonder if that's affecting his breathing. Yeah, Breaker's survival instincts are taking over. And Breaker is taking control. I can't dispute Breaker's strategy right now. Seem concerned with his opponent at all. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. He climbs back into the ring just in time. That was getting close. Taking flight. It's because Braun Breaker's not normal, Saxton. And no one, including Goldberg, thought he was going to kick out after that. I am feeling a titanic shift roaring through this crowd right now. Well, you're not the only one, Saxton. It's all coming to a head now. Goldberg has his sights directly on his opponent now. see a better match than that. Here's another look. Here is your winner, Braun Breaker. What an incredible match. One we won't soon forget. Oh my God. Goldberg loses. It happened when he became 173 and one. And it happened again tonight. I can't believe it.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship! WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fits do the talking tonight. Well, I knew the day would come when the entire WWE Universe would know LA Knight's name. It was a top name in NXT the moment he arrived. Same result in WWE. Well, I don't think anybody's going to argue the point that LA Knight is one of the most arrogant competitors in NXT history. I would agree with you, Saxton, but LA Knight has earned that arrogance with big wins over top talent. Well, now LA Knight is set to dominate all of WWE. The modern day Maharaja. Jinder Mahal has worked for everything that he has, but now everything that he has is the best in the world. First class all the way. Airplanes, limousines. That newly found lifestyle, Corey, a direct result of the changes Jinder Mahal underwent from changing his body to reshaping his mind, his confidence, his outlook on life. Try this out with me, Byron. Take a deep breath. Shanti. Uh, Shanti. 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 I don't feel anything, Corey. Introducing the challenger from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight! And his opponent from Punja, India, weighing in at 238 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, the modern day Intensity on the face of the champion. Challenger in the corner. Looking more determined than I've ever seen. the man who calls himself the modern day Maharaja, a superstar who is determined to see his name in lights and surround himself with fortune and glory. Jinder doesn't call himself that, Cole. He is the modern day Maharaja. Show some respect. 
Jinder's a self-made man who's worked hard to craft himself into the ideal superstar. Anything Jinder has won, he has richly deserved. So you say, Corey, but everyone who Jinder ever used as a stepping stone or who he's cheated probably sees it differently. Well, too bad he's getting in there with L.A. Knight. This guy says WWE today is his game, and with the skills Knight has, he's frankly not wrong. Knight's a pure physical specimen, a throwback butt kicker who's got style and skill to boot. And many people are jealous of that fact. <laughs> One step ahead of Knight there. <laughs> That'll turn your lights out. <laughs> Mahal wards that attack off. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. He deflects it right back. Just oozing confidence tonight. You gotta think it's tough to compete with bravado like that. Yes and no. Knight thinks he's got this one, but that could be an asset. He could be looking past his opponent tonight, which leaves an opening for him to be caught flat-footed. It's up to his opponent to capitalize on that. <laughs> Saw that one coming. for being his game. Knight perhaps leading too much on his charisma and not enough on what he's doing in the ring. That was such a good champion into the cover. Power oh, and one. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. And out of the ring he goes. Jinder Mahal channeling his intensity here. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oh, look at this. Neck lock into it. Neck lock suplex. to be mindful of the referee's count here. What impact by the modern-day Maharaj. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. under the ropes to get back inside. Seven. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, a knee lift. Brutal stomp to the body. And falling up for the title. Emphatic kick out for the challenger. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Across the top rope. Flying <laughs> the defensive elbow to the gut ends that. And there's a neck breaker. Single arm on the Turns it around. Soul of foot meets the stump. Jinder Mahal with a drop 
Toho looking to put this one away. Camel yes. Clutch. Camel Clutch. It's cinched in. I think we're just moments away from seeing a tap out. We're hearing a snap. Trying to somehow reverse this and counter. Breaks out of the Camel Clutch. Nice job. Champ not looking great right now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Turns that back on Jinder. And there's some force on that move. to the floor now. One. Check Two. this out, guys. Double underhook coming. Byron's going to love this. Uh-oh. Look at the suplex. Oh, oh, no, no, no. And there's more damage mounting on gender. Yeah, at this point, Mahal has to dig down deep if he wants to stay in this one. And Knight with a critically timed maneuver. Yeah, Knight is no less dangerous here as his opponent is quickly finding out. to be a refocus now. That was the moment that could have ended things. A moment that's being replayed in their heads right now. Carefully placed stop to the arm. And Knight's firmly in command. But the Maharaja's always just one move away from changing everything. Oh, what a close lock. Oh boy, ready to strike, guys. What are we gonna see? BFT. And that's what I'm talking about when I say it's L.A. Knight's game. L.A. Knight kicked to the top. D.F.T. The title's in jeopardy here. I right, think the paradigm has shifted. He manages to kick out. What strength. This is complete insanity. Still holding on to the title by the skin of their teeth. Though you gotta believe he'll be looking for the kill shot one more time. And the hall is in a disheartening spot. Knight has his opponent figured out. An efficient form of offense with that move. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Wizard knee drop. Superstars, whoever be look out! Here's a championship level move. That's it. The champ stays the champ. And here's another look at what made that match so special.
here is your winner, and still, the NXT Champion, the modern day Maharaja, Jinder Mahal. Ended this match with a big win under his belt. Nothing was able to hinder Jinder in this match, a performance fitting of the Maharaja.